All right, Sister Wives is back. We all just got done watching the second Tell All. Um, for me, the most interesting part of this was my frustration with Suki. Or not so much my frustration with Suki, but my frustration with the process or the approach to the interviews. So I want to talk about that. I also will talk a bit about Cody. Let's get Cody out of the way. This was a this was a this was a unique episode for Cody because he showed some sense of self-awareness at the start of the episode. Suki asked a question about, you know, did you get into the marriage with Christine, you know, because she was polygamous royalty or whatever? Did you get into that relationship because of your ego? And he says, I'm all ego, baby. I look back and it wasn't fair for me to go, oh, this will make me cool in our church, you know? So was your ego? Oh, I was a polygamist. It's all ego, baby. Which is the second time that he's called Suki baby. Um, And it it was an acknowledgement on his end that, yeah, he is ego-driven. I want to give him credit for that, except for he follows that up with having zero regret about that, right? He's not saying, I'm ego-driven, I need to do something about it. He's saying... I'm ego driven and you all need to deal with it, right? There's no there's no desire on Cody's part to compromise or adjust for the people around him. In this episode we also saw sort of we got more clarity around how he views Mary and we got more clarity around how Mary understands that she's viewed. I thought it was I just feel like in each of these reaction videos, I keep talking about how I feel bad for Mary and how Mary makes me feel sad. And I've talked about how I, to me, she feels like, it's interesting. If you watch these Sister Wives episodes, uh, she comes across to me as being emotionally abused. Um, And I think as a consequence of that, she also comes across as, uh, as someone who has just given up and has no sense of self. Whenever I see her in the Brown family, that's how I feel. And so I feel bad for her. I want her to be empowered. I want her to get the hell out of that relationship. And it looks like in this tell-all that she's doing that. If you separately, if you follow Mary on Instagram, like just this evening I was looking at her Instagram, every other post is some super empowering comment she's constantly interacting with new people she's positive she's excited the amount of energy she has on instagram versus what she shows on tlc with the family i mean it's like it's like a totally different person i don't know if that's tlc's editing or i don't or maybe it's because she has distanced herself from cody and she really is feeling better either way it's there's a stark difference as it relates to this episode as it relates to the way that cody talks about mary uh, with the knowledge that Mary is going to see it, um, it's dev- it, to me it's devastating to watch, and I can't imagine what she's going through. And so it, it, she seems like she just goes, right? You don't, you don't see a lot of emotion. She just sort of stoically says, you know, Cody's given up on the relationship. I love him. He doesn't love me. I've worked hard on myself, and it's not enough. It's just sad. And then, of course, the show ends with a cliffhanger where Cody is unwilling to answer Suki's question about which of the sister wives he trusts, which he was so obstinate, and and it's interesting. He said, no, I'm not going to talk about that, and Suki said, okay, which was sort of, for me, it, make, it got me starting to think about like how these interviews go. Like I, I wanted Suki to stand up to him and say, hey, you're being interviewed, this is part of your kind of contract here with TLC. You need to answer the question. Just to push it off, and then Suki goes, okay, is, is a, certainly there's a reason for it. And I, I know that Suki has to walk a fine line. You're trying to make this a positive enough experience for Cody and the family that they come back for season 18. So she can't be too harsh. But I feel like... Let's just take Suki out of it. I feel like the format, the line of questioning is way too... It's, you're, there's, you're missing all nuance. They're not asking any hard questions. They're not asking the people in the family to really think about things. Like I, like I was just thinking about, like, like what if they ask questions like, uh, Cody, do you worry about the emotional impact you are having on Mary when you speak so dismissively of your relationship about her? I would like Cody to answer that kind of question. 
Or, or they could ask a similar question about how Cody treats his children. Cody, what do you, you know, you have some perspective now when you take, when you step back and you look at how you've treated Isabel and the interactions that you had with Garrison and Gabe, how do you feel about that? Is there a point that an adult needs to step up and take accountability? Like, I want to see him have to think through these kinds of things. I'd like Cody to ask himself or be asked the question, does the husband in a plural family have a responsibility to reduce the impact of jealousy? It's easy for Cody to say, oh, these sister wives are jealous, but I imagine there's a role he plays in how he interacts with these women, right? If you're, if you're treating one wife differently than another, you're going to create that jealousy. So it's not so much that I guess I have an issue with Suki. I guess I have an issue with the questions that she's been asked to present to them. And I think that there are, I don't know, I, I want to, there are things, there's questions that I have for the family. There's questions that, that I think the audience would benefit from learning about. And, and quite honestly, the family would benefit from learning about. Like, these are clear dynamics. So, for example, it is very evident to me, and I think most people, that communication sucks in this family. Right when the when any of the sister wives have conflict, the the response is to do essentially nothing. You have the blow up, and they don't seem they don't have they don't go get coffee. They don't have phone calls. I mean, I saw that Zoom call, you know, like midway through the season, and it was like it was if I were if I were a manager of a of a team in a business, I would be freaked out if that was the kind of relationships my direct reports had. Right? Why I don't understand why that fa- they why they allow themselves to interact that way. I also don't understand, and I would love to get some feedback from any of the family members, why is it okay for Cody to treat, and they know it, treat different wives differently? And I understand that you can say, you know, Christine can say Robin's being favored, and and Mary can say Christine is mean, and Janelle can say I would never want Mary's relationship. They're all saying that, but what they're not ever doing is stepping up to Cody and saying, hey, you're mistreating that person or talking to, talking to each other. Hey, why are you treating her that way? There's no effort from the group to make relationships better. Like, like in my mind, if this, is a, if this is supposed to be a cohesive family, they should all be working together to make sure that everybody is happy, both the children and, and the, the other sister wives. Like I think about it like if I, and this has happened before, where my wife has felt like I'm being too harsh on my oldest child. And if she sees that, she'll say, David, hey, you're being too hard on him. And then I can go, oh, not my intention. Let me self-correct, right? Let me do something differently. But I appreciate you telling me that you, that you see it this way. Like we should have a conversation as parents about how we treat our kids. To me, it's the same thing, not only in how Cody treats the children, which is crazy to me that nobody steps up, right? On that Zoom call, everybody on the call didn't like the way Cody referred to or talked about parenting older children, but no one really stands up to Cody consistently. On the Zoom call, they did a little bit, but you can tell over the course of that, that family, there's not much feedback that Cody receives. And it, so I, it's like, I don't know why they don't step up and give feedback about parenting and then also step up and give feedback about how each other is feeling or, or doing. So to me, that's been the most frustrating part of this whole thing. And I'm sure there are questions that I didn't think of that others would like to to ask. Uh, So please listen below in the comments. All right. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe, all those things. I'll link a cool video here, which the YouTube algorithm says that you're going to like. Or you can check out my new channel over here, which is about psychology in general, different format than this, but I think you'll find it interesting. Check it out. All right. Thanks for watching.